Hi everyone, Dr. Tony here. How's everyone doing? Oh, so I want to talk to you all today about the rippling effect. Now, during quarantine, my oldest, my daughter, who's going to be 11 this year. Oh my gosh, she's going to be 11 this year. She's 10 going on like 29, but she's definitely her mother's daughter and I love her. Um, during quarantine, she learned how to skip rocks and she was so excited. And I remember when I was a kid, I had a hard time trying to figure out how to skip rocks. Have you ever skipped rocks before? Or just even just throw a pebble in a pond or something like that, right? What happens when you do that? What happens to the water every time without fail? Every time you skip a pebble or you throw a stone into the creek, the water ripples every time, right? And every time I see it, I cannot help but think about this rippling effect that us as humans get to make in this world. For better or for worse, right? We all make a rippling impact in our world through our interactions with people, through our interactions with ourselves. It's just such a simple yet powerful analogy. And it's what brought me here to you today. So I was talking to um, a former coaching client just the other day, and we actually wrapped up her coaching program. She was in my signature program last year. And we, so we wrapped that up around November, if I remember correctly. And so it's been about, I don't know, December, January, February, March, April, May, June. Wow. It's been seven months since we wrapped up her signature coaching program. And I couldn't help but think about the rippling effect while I was on the call with her the other day, just touching base, catching up, seeing how she's doing. And she said to me, she said, you know what? If you would have shown me a picture of now versus where I was a year ago, I wouldn't have believed you. Like if you would have shown me that picture before, I would not have believed you. She said, my life is completely different. My relationships with my family members are so much healthier. And I don't feel any guilt when I had to put boundaries down to say yes or no, whether it's at work or at home. She said, I'm actually having time in my schedule to do what I want and still get them what I need, which is crazy because when she came to me, she was burnt out and she couldn't fit everything in her schedule. She was burning the candle at both ends and she was really close to wanting to just leave her, her job, even though she was really good at it. She was exhausted. I was just like, oh my, listening to her was just so powerful. And one of the tools that she continues to use, she's using many of them, but one of the tools that she continues to use that we talked about on the phone the other day was the intentional schedule process that I walked her through. And she's like, Tony, I use it all the time. She's like, it's changed my life. It's a lifesaver. And I'm like, oh, this just makes my heart feel so happy. So why am I sharing with this with you today? Because while I was on the phone with her, not only was I impacted by the ripple effect I had in her life, and the relationships that she had with her family members and how they were drastically shifting and how her relationship with her partner became closer and how that was drastically shifting. But also because she was someone who at work impacts all these other lives as well, she wasn't just having this rippling effect in her interactions at home or within her family members that don't live home with her, but she was also having this powerful effect, this rippling impact at work with countless people. I mean, she was telling me stories about how she was showing up using her leadership skills and her humor to change the landscape of this once toxic work environment. And I was like, oh my gosh, her tears in my eyes. I was just so proud of her. And I said, you know what? I need to share this because sometimes we forget sometimes when we get stuck in the hustle and bustle when we're approaching burnout or we are burnt out or we're just too busy to slow the heck down we forget how powerful we are we forget that our power is actually within us and how we show up it is demonstrated in how we show our time and how we show up in those places we choose to spend our time in with who we choose to spend our time with. And I say this why, because I recently 
shared a mini series. It's an intensive mini series. It's only for people that truly want to show up and commit to themselves for creating a change process, but it's called the time and motivation creation series or motivation and time creation series. Okay. And the whole point of it is to help you boost your motivation levels, enhance your energy levels and create more time in your schedule so that you can begin to live and love the life that you want to live and love. Right. And Sometimes people are like, but that doesn't like, I don't get how changing my schedule is going to make me enjoy life more. Like I just don't get it. And I hear you. And so what I want to say is words don't teach, at least not at the level that I want you to gain this information because there's so much information out there, right? There's a lot of valuable information and I could give you tons of it and it would add value to your life for sure. But at the transformational level, experience is the best teacher, isn't it? Like at the level that we truly want to change our lives, like make shifts that, that feel significant, that comes through experience. Experience creates that transformation. So what I want to offer you is an opportunity to reach out and to explore the time and motivation creation series that I have created. Okay. Now I'm opening up enrollment for my first phase, my time and motivation, phase one of my signature coaching program. And my signature coaching program is the Bounds Blueprint. And it comes in four phases. And the first phase really is the time and motivation creation phase, because I want you to have more time in your schedule so that you can orient your focus to do the things you want to do and enjoy showing up being present in them, with them, when you want to be in them and with them, and still get done what you need to get done to. And I want you to feel energized and motivated to show up for the things that you want to show up for and be able to complete the things that you need to get completed. That's what I want for you because when you show up that way, you show up more powerfully. You show up more you. And when you show up more powerfully and you show up more you, other relationships get impacted. And that's the power of your ripple effect. If a pebble can make that level of impact on water, on the surface of a water significantly larger than itself, then you are making an impact in your life. Again, for better or for worse. And we want it to be for better, don't we? Don't we? Like we all want that. So I want to share with you my screen and show you um, something I, I had shared in a recent presentation elsewhere. But I just want to quickly demonstrate to you, like, when I'm talking about really creating a time management schedule that works for you, when I'm talking about really boosting your motivation levels at a, in a way that's going to help you live a life that you want to live, these are one of the reasons why. What I'm about to show you is one of the reasons why. Because most of the time when you're not creating an intentional schedule, your motivation levels go way low, your energy levels go way low, and that's because you're not taking care of yourself and you're not showing up as your best version of yourself, as the version of yourself that you wanna be, as the connected, authentic version of yourself that you wanna be. And what happens when that happens is that all of these pieces are affected, and this is the rippling effect that I'm talking about. Our relationships get impacted, again, for better or for worse. So we have communication issues when we're chronically stressed, when we're chronically stretched, when we're constantly busy and unable to slow down, get high conflict or avoidance of conflict, so we're not having any communication, or feeling really lonely and disconnected in our meaningful relationships, or become passive aggressive, which we all know no one enjoys being on the receiving end of that, right? And then physically, less energy. It's hard to sleep well, right? Or it's hard to not sleep because you just want to sleep all the time. Sometimes that happens too. And I've had clients experience both body aches and pains, tension, right? In your muscles or just tension in your neck, like this body tension that you just want to release and you can't seem to release. It, stress lowers our immune system. It also increases heart rate and makes it more difficult for us to feel restful in our bodies. And it can impact our appetites, which means weight can shift up or down. All right. And it also is going to impact our mind. Okay. Our ability to focus, our ability to pay attention, so when we're at work and we want to be productive, it becomes more difficult to do that. When we're with our kids and we want to be physically present and emotionally present and mentally present, it makes it more difficult to do that, right? We get more worried. Our brain feels really foggy, right? We might feel 
more guilty or confused or super hyper vigilant about things that we don't actually need to be super hyper vigilant about. And all this is going to affect our attitude and our perspective. We might become more cynical or skeptical, overly critical of ourselves or others or both, right? Much more irritated. So we're going to be less patient, which is really hard if you're a parent. And I am parent of three, parenting professional. So I hear you, right? And I get that patients can get tested, but if you're chronically stressed, and stretched and you're not having time in your schedule to slow down and take care of yourself, if you're not feeling energized to enjoy your life, this all gets impacted. There's no way around it. There is no way around it, okay? We don't want that. No one wants it. And you all know, whether you want to admit it or not, it impacts your emotions. It impacts how you feel. It impacts how you feel about yourself. It impacts how you feel about other people. It impacts how you just internally are feeling in your life experience, period. More irritable, angrier, overwhelmed, disengaged, mental and emotional exhaustion, nervousness, all of these things. This is the ripple effect. For better or for worse, there's a ripple effect, right? And so when we aren't having a grasp on our time management, our motivation naturally goes down, our energy naturally goes down, and the rippling effect is huge. And I don't want to pretend like this isn't the case for so many people because the truth is, it is the case. It is the case for so many people, for so many people. So it's really important that you check in with yourself, be honest with yourself if you're experiencing any of those pieces on a regular basis because we don't want it to worsen. Because what we do know is that all of those pieces, when they go untended to, they will exacerbate mental health challenges. They will reduce your quality of life. We've got anxiety. Over 40 million adults in the U.S. are experiencing anxiety. And the numbers are rising. They're not going down. Over 16 million adults in the U.S. are experiencing depression. And if you combine them, that's incredibly common as well. Because depression amps up anxiety and anxiety amps up depression and they, beauty, they create this wonderful cycle that feels inescapable for a lot of people, right? And I've been there. I've experienced it, not just helping people professionally, but also personally. And burnout is now a global public health crisis with two thirds of our full-time U.S. workers experiencing burnout. What? What? Right? But this is the rippling effect. Now, we could reverse this rippling effect. I'm going to stop sharing now. We could reverse this rippling effect in a positive way, in the better way, in a way that enhances our relationships, in a way that helps us to feel so much more loving and compassionate and accepting and open, right? We can help our mental state feel more relaxed and our physical state feel more relaxed. We can nourish our minds and our bodies and our souls in a different way, but it starts with gaining clarity with how we can orient our time and boost our motivation levels in a natural, authentic way, in a way that makes sense for you, which is why, yes, I have a framework. Yes, I have a blueprint. Yes, I use research. Yes, I incorporate brain science. Yes, I have all of this experience behind me professionally and personally, and I use that as I support my coaching clients. But listen, cookie cutter doesn't work. We have to individualize this to you. And so that is why I offer a customized experience, right? So we'll take what I have and we're going to customize it based on what you have and what you need. So are you recognizing the rippling effect in your life? the rippling effect in your relationships. You get to answer that question honestly. No one else is gonna be able to answer it for you. And so I ask, do you wanna go deeper? Do you wanna pay more attention to that rippling effect, to that impact that you're making in the waters around you and the relationships with the people around you? If you do, click the link. I will be happy to support you. We are actually gonna start my full four weeks, so a full month of premium coaching experience with clarity, motivation, and creation, um, clarity, motivation, and time creation series. We're going to go ahead and we're going to start that on July 1st, 2020. So hop on over to the wait list. The earlier you sign up, the more discounts there are, the later you wait, the closer you get to retail price. All right, y'all. So I am so glad you're here. Your impact matters. Your impact matters. Okay. Don't forget that. Your impact matters. Pay attention to your rippling effect because you are so powerful. Until next time.